Everybody's been selling their Niner and Bengal stock, so I'm feeling myself a little bit this morning, a little more intolerable than usual. Here we go. Herd hierarchy. Time is now. Let's go. The top 10 NFL teams according to college. Number 10. Tampa Bay makes the list because I think they found a run game, 161 yards rushing against the Seahawks. Now, they don't get big plays. 48 big plays all year, second worst in the league. So you're not looking at the Chiefs or the Bills here. But there is a way to play in the NFC and win games. Aaron Rodgers not going to make the playoffs. It's going to be Brady. They've got back-to-back wins. They found a run game. They're getting a little healthier. Um, they're 11-2 and two after their bye week since Brady joined the team. So I think they're getting better, and they found themselves Bucks at number 10. Number 9. Listen, I've been high on the Vikings, but I've also bet against them for three straight weeks. Uh, 29th-ranked total defense. Uh, only losses have been against Dallas and Philadelphia, and those teams are a combined 16-4, and four, so they're losing to the right teams. But I think everybody saw this coming. They were winning a lot of close games. There are limitations at quarterback. Their defense has a better pass rush than previous years, but number nine is where the Vikings sit this morning. Number eight. The Cowboys. Listen, it's a nice win. It was predictable. Their offense since Dak returned, He's been giving you 100-plus passer ratings. There's a lot to like. Uh, They have now a a, a two-headed monster at running back. Very productive, and their tight end is healthy. They have a legit number one in C.D. Lamb and a great pass rusher in Micah Parsons. I still believe, I think that Dak and the head coach in big spots uh, can be liabilities, and that's why I have the Cowboys at eight. Number seven. Meanwhile, I think the Titans could be the best coach team in the league, not called the Chiefs. Seventh win in their last eight games. The fact they took the Chiefs to overtime without a second half first down is just remarkable. They've missed 160 games. Player games have been missed due to injury. Second most in the league. So they're not even healthy. They're eight and two against the spread. What does that tell you? is that they're totally undervalued as a team. They are tough. They're physical. They're the kind of team that could go to Arrowhead and you look up and go, wait a minute, why is Mahomes watching the second half? I wouldn't want to play them. They're always playing with house money. They never get respect. They're 7-3, and uh, Titans at number 7. Number 6. Philadelphia. Um, Listen, they've held opponents under 20 points in five of their last six games. Uh, They've got a little bit of an interior D-line issue. And I do think when you face them the second time, you see them as the season progresses, there are some solutions to this offense. Uh, And the real issue is they're not talented enough to give the ball away and win. The Chiefs are. Philadelphia is not. They've had six giveaways. Uh, over the last two games. They had only three in their first eight games, so they were playing incredibly clean football. And now, as we've talked about, fumbles are kind of random. Now they're losing them. They're on the ground. They're not getting them in Philadelphia. I have it six. Number five. Um, Miami surprises me, me, but I had them as a playoff team. They're 14-1 and in the last 15 games. Tua has finished. So they're productive. They've got a smart coach. Uh, I mean, they he, they don't make mistakes. 18 touchdowns, three picks. They don't make mistakes. Now, their defense, it's pretty average. And that, in the end, is, I think, this is a flashy, fun, explosive team. But I trust the Bills' defense to make big plays. I trust Cincinnati's wildly underrated defense in the AFC playoff to make plays. Or Baltimore's or Kansas City's front seven. I don't trust this defense. Dolphins at five. Number four. The Bills. Here's the good news. Last couple of weeks, they found a run game. Here's the bad news. Now their defense has leaks. Um, They're a team that doesn't have a ton of nuance. They have to win by knockout. They don't jab or move well. But I think they recognize their issues, and they have found a running game in the last couple of weeks. Um, But now you're seeing some leaks on that defense. Listen, they're dangerous. They're explosive. They look like Super Bowl participants look like. They just got to clean up some stuff. Number three. I think the most underrated team in the league is Cincinnati. So they lose their star receiver, top five receiver in the league. They lose their star running back, top five, six running back in the league. And they've had 400-plus total yards in three of their last four games. This team is deep, a reservoir of talent. 
Burrow is unbelievable. And their defense, you just can't name any of their starters. I don't love their corners, but it's a real defense that shut Pittsburgh down and has shut multiple teams down in the second half. Joe Mixon will come back. He's battling a concussion. Jamar Chase coming back. But listen, when you can lose your top two stars and put up almost 40 points, that's something. And Burrow remains, like Mahomes, a great quarterback trailing on the road, second halves in big spots. I wouldn't want to play him. I wouldn't want to play this team in the playoffs. I, they're never out of a game. Number two. I love my 49ers. Now they're getting healthy. Listen, you guys were bailing on them all year. They're finally healthy. Pro bowlers in every unit. Now, 63% of Garoppolo's passing yards come after the catch. They don't throw the ball deep. They don't throw it up the sideline. It's death by a thousand cuts. So there's a way they win, but they're 4-0 against their division. Each win by 15 plus points. They have, in my opinion, separated much like the Chiefs from their division. Number one. Kansas City, no arguing it. We talked about it earlier this week. They're not only the best team that can overcome mistakes, play with a lead, play on the road, play from behind, but they're a really smart team. You know, they figure problems out. They're, I always think, what does a team do on third down? What does a team do in the red zone? Andy Reid piles a lot on this team offensively, and they just... Mahomes is just intellectually twitchy and nimble enough. New player, new scheme, new plays, on the road, trailing, leading. Uh, They're a true champion. If you beat them, you have to knock them out. Because if it goes to later rounds and you don't finish them off, they'll finish you off if there's only 13 seconds on the clock. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.